This video is brought to you by Spader VPN. Spider VPN connect with us, enable you to browse, game, and stream safely online. Make sure you click the link in the description below. Bonjourno everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. This is your Everton preview. It is Wednesday morning right now. Just had Eddie Howe's press conference, so we'll get into that a little bit. But tomorrow night, sees Newcastle travel to Goodison Park. 7.45 kickoff, the game is on Amazon Prime. No brand deal here, but there is an offer of 99p for a week of Amazon Prime, so you'll be able to watch the tune for 99 pence if you haven't already got an Amazon Prime account. If you've never had one, I think you can sign up for a month's free trial or a week or something like that. So there's ways around it. But the better way around it is if you have the game on in the background or not and listen and watch me, right? I'll be doing a live watch along for the Everton game tomorrow night because uh didn't get a chance to get down to Goodison. Very busy at the minute down Southampton, did Southampton, did Chelsea and uh, got a lot of work on. So can't make the trip to Everton. Been there the last few times as well. Actually never seen one lose there. Seen the 2-2 classic with Lejeune last minute and everything. Love a good old away trip to Liverpool. Big fan of uh, the old school ground, Goodison Park. Got some good friends down there. Sarah Halton with the house right up to Goodison Park. That was a class vlog back in the day. Make sure you check that out. I'm not sure where that'll be now or what channel that'll be on. But it was good times. A lot of years will know it, right? Good trips to Goodison. Hopefully there's another very, very good trip on Thursday night. Is Newcastle head there. <sighs> good kind of see it anymore, kind of. Can I say unbeaten run anymore, can I? Because of the old VAR bastards. Should have been 10 unbeaten. Should have been looking for the 11 unbeaten. What am I going to use my title as now? My title for weeks has just been, oh, can we make another unbeaten one? Easy work. Now I'm going to have to think of a title now. She has Premier League. She has referees. But you want this? Can we start another unbeaten run, please? <laughs> yeah. Massive game, this. Massive game. Um, at, at Everton. Everton are only above the relegation zone on goal difference. As it stands, they're right in the mud since Frankie Lampard's came in. It hasn't worked out. They've got a few injuries for this one as well. Gary Mina, Delph still out. Dominic Calvert-Lewin apparently still out off the back of it. Being speeding, being a naughty boy. That's not why he's not going to play though. With 900 quid fine, just been on Sky Sports News. 900 pound fine for big DCL. Going over the speed limit he was, the naughty bastard. But uh, he's still suffering with an illness. Apparently John Joe Kenny got sent off the other day. Two yellows I think it was. So he's suspended. Um, could see Salomon Rondon come up against Newcastle for the first time um, since he played for us back in 2018-19. Not having the best teams there, there was a big Rondy. I think he finally broke his deadlock uh, not long ago, but yeah, he's not he's not quite the hero he was at us, but he is 32 now. Um, but another defeat for Everton on the weekend, 1-0 at Atoma Wolves. I watched that game, actually, um, the, the, the highlights, and they actually played our right now. They weren't that bad, they were probably the better team first half. Wolves seem to do this with loads of teams in the way. They just seem to get the win or get the points over the line, even against the run of play. They're the hard to play against, but it's going to be a tight one on Thursday night in terms of how toxic and tense that atmosphere is going to be. You know what I mean? With Lampard, the fans are unsure of them, the results are not going their way. Everyone's, every Everton is shitting themselves now at the thought of relegation. That's a very real concern. Imagine that after all the money they have spent. No one would have ever thought that. They should have kept Rafa. Should have stuck with Rafa, shouldn't you? Eh? He, he didn't go down with us, right? He kept us up with all our shite. So you should have stuck with him. No chance of relegation on a Rafa. Promise you that. So you fucked up there. But Lampard coming to that one, it just didn't make sense to me. Didn't make sense from either party. Now, nobody thought that they were really in that much of a relegation battle when Lampard did come in. But getting Lampard in, getting Deli Ali and these type of people and players and characters never been in a relegation battle before. Don't know what it means. Don't know how to survive. And for that reason, they are very, very much in the thick of it. Very much in danger of going down. You've got Burnley, who are just below them. But Sean Dyche does it every single year. Gets them out of trouble. Probably will this year. For me, I think I think it'll probably be Everton or Leeds, you know. Everton or Leeds, when you look at the table. Um, thankfully, it looks like it's not going to be us. But let's not let's not count ourselves on that just yet. You know, we're nine points clear of safety as it stands. We've still got a job to do. Some injury news <coughs> for Newcastle this morning was that Joe Linton and John Joe Shelby look to be out of this one. Um, looks like Joe Linton could be risked, but I'd, it's very unlikely that he will be. So they're both serious doubts. Better news is that Joe Willick is back after that illness and missing the Chelsea game. Um, but Eddie Howe is big enough. Sean Longstaff saying he had a brilliant 90 minutes. And but obviously looking forward to seeing Bruno again. Bruno should start again. I think Ryan Fraser should be all right as well. He came on as a late sub. 
didn't make the Scotland squad, but he's had a little bit of a niggle. Maybe he might not be risked from the start either, actually, with all these games that have came up recently. So, could see the same side that, that played against Chelsea, to be fair, and played very well. Maybe maybe another change or two in, in there, to be fair. But I think Keg will be back for his line of prediction night, so stay tuned to that. I'll be here tomorrow night for that live watch along, so tune into that. We'll have a crack alongside the game and hopefully cheer on the mags for, I was going to say, another win. We just got beat. But uh, not counting it, VR. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully for another very good performance to it and another class result, we'll just pretend Chelsea didn't happen. We'll just live off Southampton because uh, still raging about that Chelsea result and being absolutely robbed. So yeah, that'll do for me. Got shit to do today again. Busy, busy times for being renty here. So drop your comments below what you think heading into the Everton game. Subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourself.